Pretty much what we're trying to do is create space, an open space. Tony Odisho is remodeling Excellence Salon and Spa in Roscoe Village, preparing to reopen. The safety of our clients and our staff is our first priority. While also dealing with the realities and risks of the pandemic. We're eliminating all these stations right here, putting things that they're easily clean and removable so we can clean between stations. His business is one of many getting ready for the phase three reopening outlined by Governor J.B. Pritzker today. Make no mistake, these are just our first steps forward in what will be a long and difficult journey. The governor released industry specific guidelines for how businesses should operate to keep everyone safe. The guidelines were written with input from more than 200 people, including business owners, workers, labor unions, industry associations, and other experts. We took their questions and suggestions and shaped them into a guiding framework that prioritizes public health in every aspect of workplace operations. In addition to salons and barbershops, the governor says phase three will also allow offices, retail stores, and manufacturing plants to reopen. We will be allowed to incrementally reopen our restaurants on May the 29th. Bars and restaurants would be allowed to open for outdoor drinking and dining, summer camps, and some sports that allow safe physical distancing like tennis would be allowed. The lengthy guidelines for each industry are posted on the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity website, but all businesses will require the use of face masks, social distancing, and signage. You can't build a strong economy if people aren't comfortable being a part of it. In addition to his new layout, Tony Odisho says he'll have masks, sanitizer, hand washing stations, and fewer clients, spaced throughout the day and throughout his salon. Was in the past, it was in the past, and the future is going to be like this. So we really have to face it and really make those changes. And state officials say the phase three opening could return about $150 billion to the state economy. That's about a fifth of the entire annual Illinois gross domestic product. Now, if you're wondering what your business is going to look like or any place that you might be visiting, like a barber shop or a salon over the next couple of days as we begin the phase three reopening, we have a list of all of those new guidelines that were posted today by the governor on our website at WGNTV.com.